from WKOW, coming to you live in HD. This is Wake Up Wisconsin, voted best morning newscast. We've got you covered. All right, well, coming up next, a couple of Irish treats you can make yourself if you're getting into the St. Patrick's Day spirit this weekend. We check in with the chef at Von Foss next. delicious Irish drink and dish, something perfect for St. Patrick's Day or the weekend leading up to it. Chef Kevin Appleton with Von Foss, who also teaches at Madison College, is here. Thank you so much for being here. And uh, Madison's Leprechaun stuck around because it's, it's Irish food Absolutely, we're talking about. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so tell us what you're making here. Well, first we're going to start you off because it's the morning with some Irish coffee. And we okay. need a little whipped cream, so we've got some whipping cream and some um, vanilla dream liqueur. And you're going to use this high-tech expensive device to help oh, me whip the cream. All right. So just give yeah, that a okay. generous little shake. So we'll do that. We've got some Irish single malt whiskey. It's got kind of a sweet malted taste. And we're going to pour the coffee into it. Okay. And then we're just going to gently pour the cream on top. All right. Whipping it incorporates just a little bit of air. We don't want too much, but it's going to help it kind of just nicely float on top. Oh, it looks beautiful. Oh, very cool. Well, there we go. Oh, that looks good. Okay, Joe, so you want to try this? Absolutely. <laughs> One for each of you. There you go. And then you brought um, like a, a dish that we can we can try at home too. Absolutely, and it's actually really easy to make. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> These are called cannon cakes. It's a very traditional Irish dish, along with salmon, which is traditional. We've got greens in there and a little bit of green stuff on top for St. Patrick's Day. Okay, show us how to make this. This is simply just leftover mashed potatoes, uh, greens, cabbage, or kale that are wilted, a little bit of egg, breadcrumbs. I've got a little champagne white wine vinegar in there. And simply, you just mix it together, add in some breadcrumbs and enough flour just so that it forms a little yeah. cake like this but doesn't stick. You drop it into the breadcrumbs, and then you can saute it. We've got some Bonfoss herb garlic infused sunflower oil, and it adds great flavor, and the sunflower oil is high heat, so okay. it's great for sauteing. You simply saute it up, and then you can serve it with a little creme fraiche, smoked salmon, and dill. And I've got a beer solera and star apple vinegar that I've just cooked down into a glaze. Wow. And this adds some really wonderful, intense flavor, plus you can make the fun plate designs. I was going to say, it looks beautiful. I mean, it looks like a professional, uh, obviously a professional did do it, but I mean, we can we can do this at home too. It's, it's not that tough. It's super easy. Yeah. The directions, <laughs> it's just like one paragraph. Sounds and good. These are great with any side dish. You can put poached eggs on top of them. And this uh, glaze is great with any meat or fish. Don't give that a try. Tell yeah, me what you absolutely. think. The coffee is delicious. If you want the recipes for both of these, we'll have them on our web channel at WKOW.com. I'll post them once I get them from Chef Kevin Appleton. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Appreciate it. All right, we'll wrap things up right after the break. Ben has a look at your forecast next. Is it good?